turn back onto his left, gives it back out to Conley. Conley, surely not going to have an effort from there. He's going to get it again another couple of steps and pop it inside, gives it in towards uh, O'Regan. Owen O'Regan does well in there, gets a pull out, has a chance inside now. Sean Glenn now with a chance, kicks it off the crossbar. Has it, James, as the ball comes back into play. But Sean Glenn had a go and had a great chance of blasting the ball into the back of the net. Comes back off the crossbar for about the fifth time. The woodwork has denied St. James's today in Pierce Stadium. Ball comes back over the side of the field. Dahi Burke has broken it up for Perfin. Drives it down the side of the field. Long, long ball into towards him, but Burke is out in front. Perfin now have three on three inside the 45 meter line. Ball sent inside. It's a poor effort, however, it breaks. It might break kindly for Ian Burke. It does. Ian Burke now is going to be fouled and is going to be a free for Perfin. Well, he's fouled quickly. That chance can change and the game can change. Sean Glynn in on goal, Frank with a uh, took the shot, had the goalkeeper beaten, all ends up, Tom Healy comes back off the crossbar and Curfin come away with it and a chance now to go two points up, looking at the it's a left-footed kicker and it's well within his compass as he steps up this one, is dropping in short, whoever oh, just about makes it over the top of the crossbar, could easily have dipped as well at the last moment there, but Sean Silk has added another point, his third point of the game, his free coming just on 29 minutes, so a minute of normal time remaining. Just